provide for seamless, expeditious, and effective progress in the task force at, in the task at hand, I make the following directives. First, the institutional arrangements necessary for the implementation of reforms shall be facilitated by respective ministries, departments, and agencies. Any changes and any challenges encountered during the implementation phase shall be addressed and resolved without delay through the established mechanism and this particular, the gazettement of this implementation committee will provide the necessary nexus between all the agencies to make sure that issues that stand out are resolved. Any challenges encountered um, in any manner shall be forwarded to this uh, committee. Further, I direct that development of policies and legislative reforms must be inclusive and must be participatory. The provision for public participation in our constitution is no longer a sterile provision. It is a live uh, provision that demands the public be involved in how they want to see services, whether it's police service or the or the correctional service in the next form. I am also very happy that we now have a public participation bill in the House that will create the requisite standards for public participation to be all policy and uh, and National Youth Service complete the development of their respective modernization strategies and plans within the next three months. I know there was a suggestion that this be undertaken over the next six months. I think three months is sufficient so that we can begin to figure out how what was recommended by the Maraga Task Force can be brought into being. Accordingly, the National Treasury will make adequate provision for funding to implement these interventions. Beyond legislation, we are also drafting new policies and revising old ones in order to redefine our national security landscape and chart a path to the future that is fully aligned with our constitutional framework as well as aspirations as a nation. The public order management policy community policing policy and the national correctional service policy will not merely be the guide for our officers but will be the strategies aimed at ushering in a new era of community engagement and community cooperation. These policies are designed to forge a strong partnership between our security services and the community by building trust and enhancing cooperation between the public and law enforcement officers and agencies. As we move forward with these reforms, I urge to come on board and join in mobilizing the people of Kenya to take part in this transformative journey. And in my opinion, already we have undertaken some of the recommendations that were um, made by the Maraga Task Force, and they will largely be in three different categories as the committee undertakes this implementation responsibility. Institutional reform. We are looking at a police service, a national youth service, um, a prison service, that is fit for purpose to deal with the challenges and to live up to the expectations of the people of Kenya in the 21st century. And therefore, the institutional reforms that have been recommended by the, uh, the Maraga Task Force are a major cornerstone and pillar of the 